Hi everyone. Today we're going to be checking out MSI's new GS60 Ghost. This is their 15.6 inch version. Screen resolution 1920 by 1080. Uh, the biggest thing about this is the size of it and the hardware that it has. So it's got a lot of power, but it's really light and thin. It only comes in at 4.36 pounds, so really easy to take around with you. A video card is the NVIDIA GTX 860M 2 gig version. CPUs the uh, Intel Core i7 4700HQ and it's a 2.4 to 3.4 gigahertz. Now that H in there does kind of tell you it is not upgradable, it's integrated onto the motherboard. Um, the hardware, we have 128 gigabyte MSATA drive pre-installed. There is a second MSATA slot available. So if you want to add a second one set up grade, you can do that. We can do that for you as well on our website. It also comes with a one terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive for your storage. Uh, wireless card, Intel AC7260 built into it and it's gonna have Windows 8.1 pre-installed. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the ports that we're gonna have around it. Starting off on the left-hand side, you're gonna see an exhaust vent right there, followed up by your Kensington lock for your security and the AC adapter plug-in. Got two USB ports right there and then your uh, microphone and headphone jacks. Spin it off to the front. Not a whole lot going on here until we get off to the right hand side. You can see your indicator lights. Uh, I'll go over what each of those mean once we have the lid open. Going off to the right, another USB 3.0 port. Then we have your memory card reader, followed by your HDMI, mini display port, ethernet port, and then another exhaust here. You'll see the other exhaust on the back as well. So we have that. And then pretty clean on the back. Just the second exhaust port uh, as we end up back on the left-hand side where we started off. I'll show you the ports. All right, here's the indicator lights that we just mentioned. Um, first one's going to be your sleep mode, followed by hardware or hard drive activity. Then this is your number lock indicator, caps lock indicator, Bluetooth, wireless, and the battery's charging indicator. All right, let's go ahead and check out the viewing angles. Got it dead on here. And again, this is a matte type anti-reflective screen. I'm gonna spin it off to the left. And uh, you'll notice it dim a little bit, but that's more of a camera issue. I'll adjust the setting here. And we can see, see if I can adjust the, there we go. Can get it pretty straight even and if you could see it in real life here I'm pretty much dead even with it and it doesn't lose much if anything on there so really good angle I'm gonna spin it off to the right it might get bright for a second here just spin it off to the right and almost dead even right there I'll lean it back just the brightness here. So dead on pretty much, leaning it back now. And this will lean back pretty far. So that's as far as it leans back. Again, good viewing angle on it. I'll go ahead and pull it up and we'll see how good it handles it as we come this way. And right before it's going to just shut itself, the screen off, because it thinks it's going to close it. And we can still see it very well there. So, there we go. So really good viewing angles on this one. We've been seeing that quite a bit um, with these matte type screens. Uh, they hold up very well. All right, as you can see, ambient sound is about 40 decibel. When I talk, Jumps up maybe up to around 70. And then what I'm going to do, going to go ahead and start 3D Mark Vantage. Got our decimal meter there so we can see how much, uh, how much sound is produced while under load and move the microphone over closer to those vents so you can hear the fans ramp up if they do. And like usual, we will be shooting some uh, temperatures, some thermal pictures so you can see how much heat's generated and kind of where it's generated.
All right, we got 3D Mark Vantage done running. Got some results to share with you here. The 3D Mark score itself, 20,303. GPU score, 16,596. CPU score, 61,540. Uh, let's talk about the temperatures. Hardware monitor picked up the, the CPU, but it did not pick up the GPU. That's why I have Afterburner down there. Uh, CPU max temps. We're looking at about 80 to 85 C across all the cores there. Afterburner showing the GPU max temp 73. So that's a very low temperature, especially for a, uh, a benchmark program like 3D Mark. Um, you know, it really surprised me with how thin this is. I was expecting a much higher number, but 73 is very impressive. Then we have the crystal disk to check the M SATA speeds there. So you can see those. We're up to 491 read time, 452 megabyte per second write time, and then the variations depending on the sizes of the files that they test there. All right, we're going to have a take a look at the boot times. Got my phone right here, so we're going to use the stopwatch on it. I'll hit start and power at the same time. And uh, just about 13 seconds from a cold boot, so that was totally off. Very fast boot times here. All right, we're taking a look at the bottom of the computer. One thing you may notice is it does not have a normal removable battery. Uh, so it is not something that you can just take out whenever you want. I went ahead and I have undone all the screws. I'll go ahead and open it up. And like a lot of these ultra thin gaming models, you're going to find that they're not really made to be uh, user upgradable. Not a whole lot that you can do yourself in here. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off with the components. We're going to start off right here. That's your hard drive. That's the one terabyte 7200 RPM. Got a speaker off to the side of it. Here's a wireless card. And that's, again, the Intel AC7260. Now, the clips on it look like they're a little bit smaller than usual. So that might not be upgradable. Got an exhaust fan here. Another exhaust fan on the other side. And then you can see where the CPU is socketed here. It's probably on the other side of the motherboard. The graphics card as well is on the other side. You probably can't see it, but I can see copper heat transfer pipes underneath here. So I'm sure they're going out to the fan so it can exhaust out that way. Got a second speaker over on this side. This is your battery here. Uh, it covers most of the parts that we can see. I don't see the RAM slots, uh, the M SATA drive two M SATA slots that are going to be on the other side of it and it would take a little bit further dismantling to see those. All right, we're going to take a look at the BIOS for you real quick. I'll go ahead and turn it on and to get into the BIOS you want to hit delete. So just keep continually hitting that and you're into the BIOS. Uh, so first thing you'll see, we'll just uh, start off on the main page here. Not a whole lot going on. Um, just the model uh, SATA information. You'll see the M SATA drive is uh, Toshiba, and then they're using the um, the Handstar for your one terabyte there, and then that second one is the empty M SATA slot on there. Okay, we'll get out of there. Uh, system information just kind of tells you about your BIOS version, EC version, processor speed, RAM, etc. Your advanced page here. Um, you know, if you need to go in and change the SATA mode to RAID, if you have that second MSA drive, you can do that here, turn off VTD, uh, a few other options here uh, that you can enable, or excuse me, enable or disable. You've got your boot options, boot configuration, numlock state, on or off, so your keypad uh, will have the numbers on or off, depending on what you want it to be. Boot orders, uh, and then your boot priorities for your hard drives network booting capabilities, security if you want to add a password to it, and save and exit. So pretty basic BIOS, which is pretty normal for a notebook computer. All right, let's go ahead and check out the keyboard and the mouse touchpad. Um, I got it focused on, it is a Steel Series powered keyboard there. It is a multicolor programmable. The backlight's on, I don't know how well you can see that right now just because of the rest of the light. Um, Dyna Audio is also included in this, so it's a very good sound quality. Again, 
as I usually say with the Dyna Audio, this is considered some of the best sound out there. Uh, so I'll get over to the keyboard here. One thing I noticed that you got these slants here. So that's the keyboard is flat instead of being angled this way here, it's flat all the way through. So the touch itself, um, again, pretty solid. With Steel Series, you're going to get that. What I've noticed, the touchpad itself has a chrome bezel kind of all the way around it, and it reflects the light that's on the screen. So I have a multicolor up there. So it looks like the, the touchpad is also backlit. Uh, it's actually not, but just kind of gives that. So just a heads up, it is going to reflect what's on that screen a little bit. So, you know, regular typing, nice and solid there. Just kind of go all the way around. Looks good. Touchpad itself, uh, there's no separate left click, right click, just one smooth touchpad. Obviously, it's there though, you just press it as you need to. The touchpad feel, very good on there. Uh, I prefer to use mouse on mine, but if you do need to use the touchpad, very responsive on there. Well, that's going to about wrap up our look at MSI's GS60 Ghost. Uh, if you're looking for a portable gaming machine, this is definitely a good one to take a look at. Very light, good performance as we saw in the benchmarks earlier, um, but it's, it's something that's creating a lot of buzz. A lot of people looking forward to it just because of its thin form factor. So if you're not someone that needs to upgrade everything on there and are good with you know pretty much the build as is, with some slight tweaking on it, definitely one to check out. All right, well, thanks for checking out our video review. Um, this is, again, ExoticPC.com. If you have any questions about it, feel free to contact our sales department. And if you uh, subscribe, we do plan on continuing to do more video reviews, so you'll be able to keep up with those. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. Thank you.